Polish Harami candle. The most important of all. Now this is how it is. In a Polish Harami it consists of two candles. First is an unusually large red body followed by a small green candle. So the first one is exceptionally full. Basically it's in a downtrend. So it's like falling. A good big red candle. Even a medium candle could also qualify for Polish Harami. Now on the second candle, it opens higher and is contained within that large red candle. So that is a small candle. This green candle is a small candle. But it's within the body of that large red candle. This pattern is a Polish pattern when formed on a downtrend. That is extreme low but don't just jump in to buy wait wait for the answer wait for the movement now i will show you polish harami on chart so that you can understand how it really looks polish harami now if you look at it it's a perfect reversal sign or signal. In it, you will see a red candle. Example, this one. It opened at 6405 and closed at 6341. Okay? So it's what? 60 cents down, approximately 1% down. And then the next day it opens up at 6355 and closes at 6378. So basically the body of the candle is within this red body. It's not outside it in any way. That is the open and close. Once it closes like this, then these two candles are known by this pattern. And once this pattern is like preceded by a fall, it usually rises up afterwards. Now, let me give you another example. Right here. It opened at 61.59 and closed at 60.54. That's what? A dollar down? approximately 2% down, but then the next day it opened at 6089, that is it opened higher and closed at 6108. Brilliant. It closed within this red candle. See, this green candle is within this red candle and if you look at it, it rose up. See, rose up to $65. Then again, right here. It opened at 58.85 and closed at 57.73. The next day it opened at 58.17 and closed at 58.41. So this green candle is within this red candle. And after that it did rose up. Now the presumption or the understanding behind it is once there is like downfall, everything is falling. So opening higher is not something like there. It should not be there in a downtrend. Okay, let's presume it is there. Then it should not be closing up. Number two thing. So basically once it opened higher, that was a telltale sign there is something wrong. And then it closed up. That was again a telltale sign there is something wrong. And the third thing to look for is this downfall. Now this is usually a good downfall, 1% or more. And once it opened higher and closed higher, even further higher, then it says, okay, there's something definitely wrong. It had a big black or big red candle and then suddenly it opened higher and closed a bit higher within the black body candle, which is like the pattern. And after that, usually the rise comes up. So basically the presumption is in a downfall, this pattern should not happen because basically with such a high fall, there is no like understanding or no sane mind would be buying enough to open it higher and then closing it even further higher within the black body candle because the black body candle is huge it's where is it? it's huge right here and it's still opened higher and closed a bit higher which makes it a perfect candidate for the rise up that's a really important pattern and you can just find it you can just look at the chart and you will find it everywhere and it works.
द बेस्ट पार्ट थैंक यू